So let's do a quick recap of what we were discussing and what we have been discussing until the last lecture. So apart from introduction and background, <coughs> we have discussed number systems, mainly decimal, binary, and how to represent its uh, equivalent in hex. Octal numbers are rarely used in practical life, but you might expect to see them in exam or in the quiz. So decimal, which is the commonly used number system, and the binary is what we use in computers, and hexadecimal is for easy representation of binary bits. Uh, please. Next, we have uh, discussed complements of numbers, like how we can change the sign of a number with the help of nines and tenths complement for decimal values, and ones and twos complement for binary. And the tools complements are commonly used in uh, practical life, practical computers. Then we discussed how numbers, how we can represent negative numbers. So what is the convention for representing a negative number? So there are three systems that we discussed, sign magnitude, ones complement, and twos complement. So in sign magnitude, the leftmost bit is dedicated or reserved for sign explicitly. So here you have a value 9 and this 1 explicitly tells that it's negative 9. Okay. Then one's complement is simply if you have a number, positive number, we can flip it to get its negative equivalent and in two's complement it's simply a one's complement plus 1. So if a number is given to you and you can easily identify by looking at its leftmost bit, whether a number is positive number or negative number, okay? And to determine its um, counter equivalent, like it's a positive or negative values, you can just take one's complement or two's complement to change the sign. Then we discussed how many numbers we can represent in a certain number of bits. So for example, in eight bits, we can represent um, minus 128 to plus 127. How many values? What is the minimum value that we can represent in four bits? Should be pretty easy compared to eight or higher values. No, I'm, I'm asking what is the minimum value that you can represent, minimum sign value that you can represent in four bits? Negative eight is the minimum um, value that we can represent. So we have four bits. So this value corresponds to negative 8, right? And what is the positive possible positive value that we can represent? The positive, maximum positive can be this, because this has to be 0, positive value. So this is plus 7, and this is minus 8, OK? And then we discuss ASCII codes, their purpose and significance. And finally, last time we discussed binary logic and or not X or an X nor grid. So just do a quick warm up activity. Find the decimal equivalent of this 64, sorry. Yes, decimal equivalent of this 64 bit two's complement number. If you know this strategy, you can quickly come up with an answer within 10 seconds. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> Four, seconds. Four seconds? Got it, good. I, I did a good job then. <laughs> I'm communicating. So what is the decimal equivalent of this number, which is represented in 64 bits? Yep. <laughs> How do you calculate it quickly? Because you cannot convert this entire number. By looking at this number, you can tell, because it is explicitly specified, it's a two's complement number. So two's complement means it's a signed number, right? And looking at the left both bit, it clearly says that it's a negative number. So what is the easiest way of converting or finding out the decimal equivalent? You, it means that the number that is given to you, it's a negative number. You take its two's complement because it is represented in two's complement. So what is the two's complement value? How would you take the two's complement? Keep all the least significant digits unchanged until the first one. 
and flip all the remaining bits. When you do this, so what will be the two's complement? It will be 0, 0, 0, 1, and then all zeros. And it is equivalent to plus 8. So if two's complement of this value is equivalent to plus 8, then this actual value is minus 8. Understand? Do you want me to repeat? OK. So this is a number that has been given. It is specified that it is a two's complement number which means that if you have to convert a number in, into positive or negative, you have to take its two's complement. If I were to specify that it's the one's complement number, to convert it, you need to take the one's complement. Okay, so it is here two's complement. So by looking at a number, you can see that it is negative because the leftmost bit is one. Okay, so what you can do is, you can take its two's complement. When you take a two's complement, what will be its value? You leave all the least significant digits until the first one unchanged, and then flip all the remaining bits. Okay, so when you do that, it will be zero, 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 one, and then all zeros. Then find out the decimal value of the two's complement value that you have taken, which is positive eight. So if the two's complement value is positive eight, then this means that this is the negative eight. Okay. get it? If I would say that this is one's complement number, then what would be its value? Decimal value. If instead of saying two's complement, if I'd say it would be um, uh, one's complement number, then what would be the decimal equivalent of this value? Hmm? Seven. Why? How do you take one's complement? You just simply flip all the bits. And when you flip all the bits, this one, 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 and then all zeros. Then it would be plus seven. Okay? Get it? All right, so let's proceed ahead.